Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, today is our second uh, lesson uh, with using program Avogadro, and uh, we will learn how to uh, build uh, amino acids and peptides. Um, amino acids are important because uh, um, they are a component of uh, proteins, and proteins are important substances in, uh, in our body. Uh, let's go to program um, Avogadro and uh, see how we build their uh, um, peptides, which is a component of, um, uh, of proteins. Okay, so I'll go to the screen sharing and open their Avogadro program. All right, so now um, let's, uh, let's use our previous skills and uh, build uh, the first uh, most simple uh, amino acid uh, using our uh, starting from methane. We'll please go here, select uh, uh, this building um, draw tool. So, and select carbon, click on the screen. All right, okay. So let's just uh, use our normal bond and steel option. Okay, so let's just uh, rotate it a little bit to create kind of more uh, convenient view. All right, okay. Oh, something like that. So um, now what I will do, I will change uh, this hydrogen for um, amino group by selecting nitrogen. Okay, so now I converted them in a group. So um, the second hydrogen, I will convert uh, into carboxylic group. And for this matter, I first convert this hydrogen into carbon. Go here, click on it, and it become carbon. So it's actually methyl group. So now what I will do next, I will change uh, this two hydrogen for um, oxygen. And in fact, I will be making this OH group one, two. All right, so now um, for their convenience, I'll go to extension, I'll optimize geometry. So, all right, so now uh, one of this uh, OH group need to be converted in carboxyl group. For this matter, I go here again, and select the double bond and click on this bond. Okay, so now we have uh, uh, the simplest amino acid, which is called glycine. Uh, it has carbon connected to hydrogen, and on one side we have uh, amino group, and uh, another side we have uh, so-called carboxylic group. So carboxylic group has our are carbon with double bond with oxygen in OH group. So this is acid group and this is amino group. So, um, and thus uh, uh, amino acids called alpha amino acids, uh, which mean uh, that uh, amino group and carboxylic group are connected to the same, to the same carbon. Now let's create their uh, uh, so-called peptide group between two uh, glycine molecules. So for this matter, so I go and select it. Um, move it slightly. Go edit, copy, and paste. So now let's just uh, separate them slightly. Okay, so now I created two, um, two, amino, uh, two amino acids, two glycines. So now let's uh, increase it so that we can see it clear. <clears throat> uh, now, in order to form uh, uh, to form uh, their uh, peptide bond, um, I have to remove uh, water molecules, namely OH, OH group from um, from carboxylic group in one of the hydrogen. So let me go and so I need to put uh, the click on shift in order to select multiple atoms. So I select one, two, three. Now go to edit and cut. 
All right, so, so I remove a uh, water molecule, and now I have to form the bond between this carbon and nitrogen. So um, I go here, select, oh, it's just here, select carbon, single bond, and form the bond between this carbon and this nitrogen. All right, so we form the bond. Okay, so however, since uh, uh, there, um, the distance was a little bit far, so I need to go to extension and optimize geometry. All right, so now we have a small peptide, it's actually called deep peptide, uh, with a peptide bond. So this bond, which has carbon, uh, nitrogen from amino group and carboxylic group, it's called peptide group. So we, we created D peptide uh, from two gly, glycine molecule. However, uh, so uh, I didn't tell you about the trick. The trick is that we have here in uh, our gather program the database of peptides, and we can make um, peptides in a more simple way. So let's do it. Let's clean the screen. So look at this molecule again, so that you know what what we did. And now I'll go and clear the screen. And we go to uh, option build, insert, and select the peptide. So here's a, a 20 alpha amino acid from which uh, our uh, proteins are made in our bodies. So this is glycine. So if we click on it twice and click on insert peptide, so we actually get the same, the same molecules which uh, we uh, created previously with, uh, but this time we get it with much uh, less effort. So let's put it in the middle and take a look at it. So basically we get the same the same molecules and it is a deep peptide called glycine glycine. All right, so that's how we can build the peptides very easily. So now let's uh, clean, clear their screen again and go back to their uh, build options. So, uh, in order to see the structure and name of this uh, 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 amino acid, so you just click on it and it, uh, it shows, uh, okay, let's just clean it. Okay, so um, now let's, for example, take a look on one of them, uh, which is called isolysine. So we'll go and sort peptide click on it and we can just do it with uh, with any of uh, with any of the amino acids all right so let's go put it in the middle and slightly rotate so, so that we will see uh, the substituent yeah. all right. so I'm a little bit new with this tool so okay so it's more or less uh, as we build it so you see instead of one of the hydrogens here, we have um, a group with one, two, three, four carbon, uh, and it's butyl group. But since it's connected not by our, this carbon, but the second one, so it's called isobutyl group. So that's that's amino acid, amino acid which uh, we selected. So now go and uh, clear the screen again. So go uh, to the build option. Uh, insert peptide and now basically we can uh, build uh, uh, any kind of peptides by selecting one by one amino acids let's just do it kind of random randomly one two three four five six one two three four five six one more seven okay so now if we click on insert peptide so we get this seven um, Sept, sept, sept peptide, so peptide with seven, uh, uh, seven uh, amino acids. So let's deselect them. All right, so now we can just increase it and take a look uh, on, um, on its structure. You can just rotate it, more convenient. When the peptide is becoming very long, so, uh, it is more convenient uh, to see them as uh, not like a ball and stick, but uh, a simple wireframe. All right, so in this case, we see there are oxygen shown as green, 
little stick um, nitrogen as a blue and carbon as a uh, at the center of, of this triangle. So uh, hydrogen I didn't show. So there is another way to look on this. We can use a stick and and we can in this way we can build their um, different type peptides and actually we can build their real proteins but the protein is is pretty long one so this um end up our lessons for today thank you very much for your attention